Imagine a floating fortress made of ice, gliding silently across the Atlantic, impervious to torpedoes and enemy fire. During World War II, the British military seriously considered building aircraft carriers out of giant icebergs. The project, known as Project Habakkuk, aimed to create unsinkable carriers by using a mixture of water and wood pulp called bakrete, which was as strong as concrete but buoyant and resistant to melting. The idea was born out of desperation, as German U-boats were wreaking havoc on Allied shipping. Traditional aircraft carriers were vulnerable and in short supply, so Geoffrey Pike, an eccentric British inventor, pitched the concept of an iceberg carrier to Churchill himself. Pike's vision was to carve out hangars, runways, and even living quarters within these colossal ice structures, providing a mobile base for aircraft to patrol and protect vital shipping routes. To test the feasibility, a prototype was constructed on Patricia Lake in Canada. This mini iceberg was 60 feet long and took months to melt, even in the summer heat, demonstrating Picrete's impressive durability. However, the project faced insurmountable challenges. The logistics of constructing and maintaining such massive ice structures proved too complex and costly, especially with advancements in aircraft technology offering more practical solutions. While the iceberg carriers never came to fruition, they remain a testament to the extraordinary lengths the Allies were willing to go to secure victory. This fantastical chapter of military history reveals the creativity and audacity that wartime necessity can inspire, leaving us to wonder what other wild ideas might still be lurking in classified archives.